The greatest feeling in life is doing what people say you can't. Keep quiet and let your success kill them. Welcome to Cool Trends. My name is Hawa Karim. Please follow us on all social media handles at Cool Entertainment GH and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And yes, don't forget to follow Dinyame Multimedia on social media and subscribe to their YouTube channel. Please stay with me. I will be back after this. Welcome guys, let's now move straight to today's trend and we are starting off with the dance hall king himself. I'm talking about Shata Wale Chale. It be like the broken heart there. Yes, there's so a lot of people are talking about Shata right now on social media. So we were minding our business oh, and Shata posted a picture of a lady saying that the lady is his love of his life. So he was giving us pressure. Hey, and then we'll post the picture. And our promises. But the picture she said it wasn't easy but lately you know you won't say shut up posted something on snap and a lot of people are saying that it looks like their relationship didn't go well because relationship of six months per year then they best say she said is not encouraging at all and all of that so you know he came on snap and he was throwing shade at a particular lady we don't know who the lady is but a lot of people are assuming say elfrida because you know he has he has deleted elfrida and the pictures are one instagram page in now and elfrida has also done the same so people are saying that obviously shade with the elfrida there so this is what you know he posted on snap I want a woman with future plans. No be woman will go they search my phone like she be CID. That's one dear you go go find your crime partner, no be me. If you can't understand this simple A B C D, then go your way. And then he come he came back again and then he posted this. Some of the women, them my boys get money before they meet them all. But today them won't control them. Master, your husband's hustle be your husband's hustle for be your priority. Yes. And then he came back again with another post. I mean, you know, Shata. Shata, they will truly were. Hmm. He came back again and this time he said, Careful when women say she love you. Most of them are lies and fault finders to delay your precious time to go for the big bags. And he also posted again saying, A woman that doesn't support you. A woman that doesn't support what you do as job and calls you names as a witch. She wants you to be poor forever. She said this and many more. And I shut her extra what's up. The rest will be on the screen. Please read through and let's get interactive. So yes, that's about it for my trend number one. Let's now move straight to trends number two. So yes, with my trend number two, and this one is quite interesting. So recently, I spoke about the nation's worshipper back up, brother Sami, and you know, I spoke about the fact that he came on United Showbiz, and he was talking about his wife, saying that he can never have any sexual intercourse with his wife, which actually got a lot of Ghanaians talking in Kofor e bashini ye. People were like, "You're not supposed to talk about your family on TV and all of that." So in an interview with Abe Santana, he actually apologized to Ghanaians and are already trying in his statement you know so he he actually said say see nyami di muntino he will have intercourse with neyere my the, the way he actually said it and a lot of people are like this man he's a comedian no are you comedian because the way he was even saying it as a dia girl as in a we can't even tell so guys watch this video when i return we will continue brother samina what you mean can gana for me see them mom fan to me yeah i'm gonna say my family bear my shit may you last it Mian and Kayam Simon was a CD. Yes, she did want to make the best. Amen. So yes, that was brother Sammy. So see, I did also were apologizing, and so Ghanaian should forgive him. Oh, life goes on, and so yes, that's my trend number two for today. Let's now move on to my third trend. So to my trend number three, and this is about Abeku Santana. You know, for some time now, Abeku has been very silent about you know this Abna Koko list and all of that. People are like. Abna Beka San Semweno, you know, Abeku hasn't reacted to the story, so we don't know if it's true or not. But in a recent interview with Zion Felix, Zion Felix Ibisano, you know, wanted to know what he thinks about this Ab Abna list and everything. And Abeku Santana replied beautifully. So, according to him, no, I said whatever Abna said to him is a joke. Yes, because he knows, say, Abna, you know, mental health issues, into whatever he says, no, whatever she says, actually, you know, he doesn't take offense to it and so many things. 
place to extend say he even said say at a point in time no 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 kwampo or sympathizing with Ghanaians and so he's even urging us Ghanaians say yeah because as as no kwampo any more but his situation is some way be but whatever abna said about ono santana nidia is not true so yes let's watch a video of abeku explaining everything i will be back to continue the story before have i tried helping her in her situation oh you said i mean okoshe videos of my show ubon swaba me show so best said three times if i'm not mistaken even more than three times um mental health society ghana mesog no more yes seminar b she invited me some member emma mccoy uh so i have sympathized with her sir or health condition that is i have sympathized with her so health condition and once i've sympathized with her so what health condition bibi or becca family when you know crazy i'm in funny serious my funny say a joke it is a quite a comedian i a joke about me my funny say serious my funny say a joke what do you say it is me one and you know crazy and a two me i don't take offense of what she has said to me because me say you know and it also made me believe sir and yes i be brave and i work on you know <laughs> because first and i mean so my dream said the okay no and of course until so come in was him i guess he has a a grown and can do it i was a grown and it's it okay my myself no and i have some root with a witness in a rapper she struggled to construct it a person who can be by the end of a nancy so i mean who said your personal channel it's a some of them who some of them who you said one pneu, so pneu, some a four sino, some one four sino, no, no, and Casa on pill. And it will be a we are by dream bana, would drink quite cheaper, would in some Missy C and near, which means a in Shia. It is media main man fan offensive, but coming out public to say something that any no crano, a mamma was a when he dow. What do you say? Did that affect your credibility? Oh, how? How can that affect my credibility? I've not committed any crime. Me nyashe, me 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 assault you know, me harass you know, me nyashe. So on what way? Um, it is perceived so intelligent. So yes, that was Abeku, you know, talking about Abna issue and everything. So according to him, Nidia, he's not offended. Into more and more expecting beef, ne bashing from him, Nidia. Don't forget, Mun Chamber Cry, because on Nidia, he's calm and you know he's moving like just he's chilling and everything. So let's now move on to my last story for today, which is about our very own. OB Amponsa comedian Bakope. He is currently having a little misunderstanding with Israel Lion wife, no I a friend Louisa. And so you know, last year, somewhere last year, you no, know, OB had a show dubbed popular but broke and the show is actually one of the most talked about comedy shows at ever Ghana so need a trendy here and kasan a lot of people turned out for the show so during his performance no make won't some jokes be here and they won't say any day anytime you go to a comedy show you are just expecting to have fun and everything so anything they say is is everything they say there is just for you know fun purposes and everything so he made a joke uh, you know about Israel lying now covid no and everything and I MSA say Louisa Lai in a year in a one, she has actually she has actually come on Facebook to bash Obi and Ponsa for a joke now or yeah. And so before I even talk about you know the blasting and the insults and everything, let's go check out the joke Obi made. When I return, I will continue with the story. To people's recovery, right? People recover and they tell us their stories. We read every detail because we wanted to be sure whether we had COVID or not. I remember he's like he, I think he recovered and he posted mm, before the COVID season, before he had it, he was going to work alone, nobody was sitting in his car, nobody was eating with him. He's like, only be any data. But but as, <laughs> and then he continued, and then when he finally had it, you know, he had to he, he couldn't stay with the family, he had to stay in the boys' quarters. I said, Hmm, he's right. You have boys' quarters. <laughs> Multimedia is paying well, huh? Because I know an ally of Pazafem. He ain't shit. <laughs> and we all listen. And so finally we realized that the main you know, symptom of COVID was a dry cough, uh, 
you could so yes that was obi and ponsa he was just making a joke and all of that and i'm called for s3 so this particular joke no it didn't really go down well with louisa and so you both for you pa and our facebook about because but the thing is the show happened last year so people are asking i didn't know last year that i want to be feeling everything you are now coming out and you know apparently no so no the show was uploaded on youtube just this april and the bem said that day now you know the show happened no she wasn't there and everything so she probably just saw it and in our baby replying so this is what she tweeted on facebook so she said there's a very stupid miserable local comedian so called by name Obi Amponsa, obviously another badly brought up child, misbehaving all over the place in the name of comedy. His Will Smith moment becomes, if he stays his nonsensical course, hashtag foolish boy. Now she said, Louisa is not happy about the joke. And so this has got a lot of people talking since yesterday. And so what do you think about this? Do you think the joke was very expensive or do you think it was just a normal thing? Why is she very angry? I don't know. So leave your comments below and let's get interactive as usual so that's about it for today's episode of cool trends please follow us on our social media handles at cool entertainment gh and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel as well at cool entertainment gh and yes please follow my personal handles at hawa karimat on instagram and hawa karim on facebook my name again is hawa karim and i have been your host catch you same time next week for now it's bye bye Mwah.